today, we're going to talk about home security systems. Who is this woman, you ask? Well, this beautiful lady is named Marie Van Britten Brown. Why are we showing her picture if we're talking about home security systems? Well, the reason is she invented the first home security system. That laid the foundation for all security systems that we see and utilize today. Let's talk about it. Marie was born October 30th, 1922, in Jamaica, Queens, New York. She spent her entire life in Jamaica, Queens. She was married there. She had children there. She worked as a nurse and built her entire life there. Okay, wait. She was a nurse? Well, how does a nurse come up with a home security system? Well, here's the story. As a nurse, Marie worked very long and sometimes odd hours, getting home late at night. Not to mention her husband, Albert Brown, was an electrician. He as well worked odd hours and he would arrive home very late or sometimes she would find herself home alone at night with her children. And she was fearful. She wanted to know who was outside of her door before she opened it. So the first thing Marie did was she placed three peepholes in her door at various different heights so she could see people who were from tall to short, like children. After that, she mounted a camera on her door which could slide up or down to view each peephole. That allowed her to see who was outside. But that's not all. She wanted to be able to visualize who was outside of her door from any room in her home. So the next step was to see if she could get the image from the camera onto a TV screen. And that's exactly what she did. She created a wireless television system. And in order to do that, she used a radio-controlled wireless system, which could stream the video from the camera to any television in her house. But that's not all. She and her husband created a two-way microphone system. That way she could speak with whomever is outside of her door, and they could speak back with her. Wow. This system is really something already. But believe it or not, she's still not done creating. You see, the crime rate was very high in her neighborhood, and the response time for police was very long, if they even showed up at all. So she needed to come up with a way to get a quicker response time from the police and emergency responders. So what did she do? Well, she invented a system that could contact the police and emergency responders with just the push of one button. I think she thought of everything in this system. But wait, there's one more thing. <laughs> oh yeah, how was she going to open the door if she was in another room? Well, she created a system that would allow her to open her door with a remote control. Now that's genius. So basically, here's how her system works. Someone comes to her door. The camera on the door can adjust to the height of each individual peephole so it can visualize who is at the door. The image in the camera is then streamed wirelessly with a radio-controlled system to every television in her home so she could see 
who is at her door from any room. If she feels safe, she could then use the remote control to open her door. If she had any concerns about who's on the other side of the door, she could use the two-way radio system to communicate with them. And if she still had concern, she could, with just the push of a button, summon the police. Pretty remarkable. In 1966, Marie and Albert applied for a patent for their security system. And in 1969, three years later, they finally received an approved patent for their security system. But in the meantime, her system had become very popular, especially with businesses. It was great for doctor's offices. It could prevent people from breaking in to steal drugs. It was great for many different types of businesses. But most significant about this security system that Marie created was that it was the very first closed-circuit television system, or what we call CCTV today. Her invention laid a solid foundation for video monitoring, push-button alarm triggers, remote-controlled door locks, instant messaging to emergency responders and police, and two-way voice communications. So basically, this one invention laid the foundation for multiple different industries that eventually came along later. It was also the foundation for many different inventions that came along later. As a matter of fact, several of the later inventions that are utilized by some of the largest companies in the world today mentioned her invention in their patent applications. Pretty remarkable. So basically, this single individual who was just a nurse, a wife, and a mother of two created our entire surveillance and security system that we use today. Marie Van Britten Brown died February 2nd, 1999. She was 76 years old, but before her death, she had the privilege of being honored for her invention. She received an award from the National Science Committee. We owe a lot to Marie Van Britten Brown. Her genius laid the foundation for many different industries. We can proudly say, because she did that, we did that. <laughs>